All right, in this, this video, I'm just going to demonstrate the, the big overview of Gravit here, how to get started, and then in later videos, I get into more details depending on what it is that you're trying to do. So first off, after you create your new document, you're going to be looking at this page, and you have your menus up top here, and then you have all these different buttons, and I want to point out that Gravit is very customizable, which is pretty great. There's also usually more than one spot to find the same tool. Um, so the first thing you have here under the file menu, this is where you'd go to save, export, import, etc., print, whatever it is. Under edit, that's where you'd find your copy, paste, duplication, clone, selection tools, if you want to select everything or just a few objects. Modify is where you'd find your group, alignment, um, things like that. And under view is where you can actually modify your window. So not just zoom, but if you want to hide certain menus or show menus or things like that, um, all of that would be underneath the view menu here. Right up top, you have your save, undo, redo. You have in this pink selection, your kind of view and move tools, so whether you want to zoom in and out, fit to page, move around, snap into position. Then you have your drawing and editing tools here. You have your transform tools here. You have your Pathfinder tools, and then you have your uh, arrangement tools, and then lastly, your export tools. So it's kind of interesting that you save on one side, export on the other side, and again, I will get into that in more details. If you have more than one document open, so I'm just going to click New Design, I'm just going to open up uh, another design here. Notice that there's tabs to change between your designs, and it might be hard to tell that I'm changing. So if I just put like a text box here on the one, you can see that I can change from the one to the other. So you can have more than one document open, um, and you can close the document with a little X, and then you know that you need to save. See how it says untitled? Untitled star means that I need to save. So if you have any unsaved changes, it puts a little star on that document. On the left, you have your page panel. So you can have more than one page in your document. You just hit click this little button to add a page. You can go back and forth between them. You can also delete a page by using this little trash can here. Um, and then you can go ahead and toggle between multi-pages or single page mode. Then you can have layers. Now, unlike Pixlr or Photoshop, you do not need to design in layers. Um, this is actually a multi-layer software, and I'll explain that in more uh, detail later, but you do not need to design in layers when using vector design software. However, it may become handy to design in layers depending on the situation. On the right hand side, you have your general page control. So, right now, my width of my page here is 11, my height is 8.5, the opacity is 100%. I do have a default page template selected. Um, I can go ahead and rotate my canvas. I could uh, trim it to a different size, I could change the page size, I could set up margins and things like that if I wanted to, as well as change the page color. Um, and then lastly, at the bottom here, um, is your document setup. So I can turn on this grid if I want, which might help your design. I can put it on an isometric grid if that helps as well to do three-dimensional drawings, or I could change the unit that I'm working in, whether I'm working in inches or millimeters, and then down here we have the Gravit Cloud, which is not required, but it might be handy if that's what you want to use.